Heian finally found the will to live, after overhearing Hyun Wu's feelings for her. I must say that the recently concluded episode 8 of Queen of Tears made my blood boil. I mean, how can a strong conglomerate family fall like a deck of cards? Before we get into it, how pleasantly surprised were you to see Vincenzo? The big, bad Vincenzo Cassano. Heian wasn't playing when she said she'd employ the best lawyer. The writer and the production crew meant business with this drama. However, there were many sad and annoying things in the episode. Sadly, our favorite Beckhong couple got divorced. And it was annoying to see how the family treated Hyun Wu after the divorce. I can't understand why two people, who are obviously still crazy about one another, spin circles around one another. What Hyun Wu and Heian need is a good heart to heart. In the preview for the next episode, we can see sparks reigniting between them. Hyun Wu's siblings can attest to this. What's more, the chairman is down. For a man who attained success through hard work, he was gullible. I will revisit this down the line. Sulhi finally shows her true colors after getting the chairman to sign over his power of attorney. As she said, she doesn't want him dead yet, she needs him to be able to carry out the authority behind the power of attorney. By the time she's done, she plans to leave nothing for the chairman's family before his death. This woman is more vicious than a crocodile. She worked on the chairman for 30 years. She withstood the insults and jabs from the family all these years, because she had her eyes on a bigger goal. She was meticulous and sophisticated in her plans. Makes me wonder if this is her first time. When Hyun Wu and Biam Ja visited the orphanage, they discovered it had been raised by fire years ago. This must have been her doing. She must have done away with all evidence, by killing Unsong's adoptive parents and raising down the orphanage. She had to up her game when Biam Ja let the cat out of the bag. Biam Ja's revelation made her realize that they were onto her, and her time was almost up. We are about to see her in all her glory in the upcoming episodes. I suspect she's going to fall out with her son. Stick around to find out why. I had mixed feelings when the chairman collapsed. As I said earlier, for the chairman of a conglomerate, he was gullible. This conflict and takeover would have been easily avoided. All Hyun Wu asked from them was for them to do their due diligence. What businessman would go into a huge business deal without vetting the validity of the said business? Trusting someone's words over data. I felt horrible for Hyun Wu, who tried to stop him, just to be kicked out of the company and humiliated. However, I felt pitiful for the chairman, as his last thoughts before passing out were those of his daughter, Biam Ja. After 30 years, he's bound to trust Sul He, who has shown him nothing but care and love. Sul He exploited a lonely man's heart. Hopefully, he will pull through to get his pound of flesh. The mystery behind Un Song's necklace was finally revealed in the episode. There's a story here. After Heian stood her ground with him, he must have picked interest in her. This is why he rescued her from the dog. She must have been his first love, as her kindness must have drawn him in. If you recall, the woodsman said that he killed a dog while in the orphanage. Maybe he killed the dog because of what happened with Heian and the owner's lack of remorse. If all these are true, then this explains why he's adamant about Heian. He might have agreed to his mother's plans for the family because of Heian. If you recall, he said he tried his best to become someone she'd need. 
In the last episode, he got mad after Hayen blatantly refused his advance, quoting all he'd done to get close to her. He thinks if he takes everything from her, then she'll turn to him. When he found out about her drugs and possible cancer, he seemed sad that she's sick. If he just wanted the Queen's group, he'd be elated that she's sick, not sad. This means he has feelings, if not an obsession, for her. In the preview, he can be seen asking her doctor about her. Failing to find the family and Hayin, he will tail Hyun Woo to find out where they are. Hyun Woo can be seen putting up a good fight. If you recall, he was once a member of the special guard team, he can defend himself. I suspect that Eun Song and his mother might fall out because of his feelings for Hayin. I think he's in it to win her, and will lose interest or make radical decisions to win her, especially when he finds out she has limited time to live. While his mother is in it for the fortune and power. I can't wait to see Discord in the enemy's camp. What's more, Su Chiol made my blood boil the most. There's nothing more dangerous than someone incapable, not knowing he's incapable. He's cost the family their seat and wealth. However, my heart bled for him when his wife left with their supposed child. I'm curious to know what she said in her dear John letter. I still believe that she'll come back to him. She might even end up helping him. Everyone in this family has some sort of trauma. Hain's beatings affected Su Chiola negatively. She can be seen giving him more in the preview. However, I must say that Su Chiola deserves most of the beatings. He can be seen being picky in Yang Duri, making Hain hit him. Sadly, our favorite Bek Hong couple is divorced. Both Hyun Woo and Hayin are breaking my heart. Hayin could possibly have limited time to live, they have no time for this squabble. However, I see this as an opportunity for them to rebuild on a clean slate. When Hayin recalled the situation, it made the pain worse. She relived the betrayal just after confessing her love for him. Just as she told Eun Song, she set Hyun Woo free out of love. Going back to Yang Duri is like relearning how to love one another again. As everything went south for the Queen's family, Hyun Woo took them under his wings. He's going to care for them and rebuild his relationship with Hayin. Hayin can be seen spending time with his family. What's more, they will finally find out about their childhood connection. They were fated to love each other. I can't wait to see them rebuild their chemistry and love. These two are madly in love with one another. If they get a second chance, they'll love the H out of one another. However, Hain's illness is always at the forefront. It will rear its head again in the next episode. Hyun Woo might have been devious in the past, by faking to love his wife to get her inheritance, but he sure has made a tremendous change through the episodes. Despite all they did to him, he took them home to care for them during the crisis. Now, the responsibility to get back what was lost, falls on his shoulders. It's about to be a showdown between him and Eun Song, he intends to use the same tactics Eun Song used, on him. I can't wait to see Hain's mother try to cope in Yang Duri, after her power trip. Eun Song and Sulhi's victory, is an opportunity for the family to learn the essence of family, and rebound as a family. The Yang Duri people, are going to have a field day with the Queen's family in their midst. How the mighty has fallen. What's more, it looks like love might be on the horizon for Biamja. Her joining forces with Hyun Woo was one of the best things in the episode. 
She's easily one of my favorite characters in the drama. Queen of Tears is set to turn the viewers into queens and kings of tears after each episode. Who else can hardly wait for Hyun Woo's counterattack? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below. If you liked this content, give it a like, share, subscribe, and turn on your notification bell for all things wonderfully K-drama. Thanks for watching, bye.